What's up, y'all? Got some more Gym Leader Challenge games for you. Today we are playing our Rain Dance Water Deck featuring this wonderful gold Blastoise. And we are going second. Pretty good opening hand for us. See what we're playing against. Looks like we're also playing against water, but this may be the spread variant. By the looks of this rapid strike star you. Now I do not play Manaphy in my list. Decided to not play the Manaphy. Instead opting to go with some other more consistent cards like Hesuian Basculin and play a copy of Lost City from the latest set, Lost Origin. And let's see, pretty good opening hand. Let's see how we want to proceed. Let's start off with a Brooklet Hill to see what's in the deck. Remoraid is there, so the Octillery line is there, the Whale is there, the Inteleon line is there, Frost Moth is in the deck, Snom is in the deck. Looks like we are missing, I think, both Squirtle and War Turtle. Oh, War Turtle is there, so we're missing Squirtle. So we'll probably go ahead and grab... Um, our Snom. Looks like the Hisuian Basculin is also prized. Grab our uh, Whalmer. And then I don't mind just hexing here, but I could also wait for hex. Let's grab. Let's Irida. For, geez, I don't even know what. Remoraid seems pretty strong. Unless I want to go in with an attack this turn. Well, actually, yeah, I would like to get Alolan Vulpix. And how about a Hisuian Heavy Ball? Kind of like that combination. Could have grabbed Switch, but we'll just re manually retreat. That probably would have been a smarter thing to do, honestly, to save our attachment. We will Hisuian Heavy Ball. Go grab Squirtle, who's here. Bench the Squirtle. And I will Level Ball. Going to completely fill our bench. We're going to grab Remoraid. And then we will retreat into the Vulpix and Beacon for, I think, definitely Drizzile and Frostmoth seems good. We'll grab Octillery, I think. Drizzile and Octillery. So if you noticed, I said that I thought Hisuian Basculin was in the prizes. Uh, it wasn't. Looks like this is an older list that I was playing that plays the uh, Hisuian, or sorry, that plays Articuno with the Ancient Trait ability that allows you to take two prizes if you knock out a Pokemon with one of its attacks. And I decided to go with that variant, that little spicy attacker instead of Hisuian Basculin. So... Now, I'm not as familiar with the spread types of water decks. Let's see what we have here. Looks like we're going with an icy wind, so I'm asleep. Feels pretty good for us. Okay, let's see here. I could go Rare Candy Blastoise, which I really want to do, but Rare Candy Blastoise with no water energy doesn't seem like 
the absolute strongest, but I, I'm going to lean into it a little bit. doesn't seem like they have like a ton of stuff going on after that, Cynthia. So we'll grab rare candy. And we will rare candy into Blastoise. And we will Evo Soda and grab the large whale. And hope to find some good stuff out of this Abyssal Hand for three. Looking for a draw supporter would be good or some energy. And we find N and uh, I think I think I'm going to just play this N. Still not finding any water energy. So I think we'll probably just beacon. I'm going to hold that float stun in case of a field blower. I don't think I want to necessarily field blow these things yet. So I'll just beacon for Inteleon and Frostmoth. That way, if I get knocked out, I'll keep this Brooklyn Hill for myself to maybe go grab Wishy Washy or something like that. Really looking to get some energy in the hand. Now let's see what this Lapras does. For three energy, Splash Arch. Put all energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand, and it does 100 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So if they're able to get that up, they can definitely snipe down a couple guys on my bench, or they can choose to snipe one of uh, my benched Pokemon. Our opponent does get the Colrus for the full 10, which we love for them. See what they get. Looks like they're going to be able to shady dealings. Now I opted for that N instead of the Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac obviously very strong against water as they're so ability based. And I'm just hoping to be able to hold that Hex Maniac for maybe some plays later down the road. One issue that can come up with the water deck is a locked out bench, which you see we have already, which is why we play the one scoop up net. Helps with that. Uh, but also not the most draw supporters as you really lean on your abilities. So looks like we may be getting this wishy-washy come in, which is going to end up having 180 HP which is absolutely massive. This is where having Hex Maniac would be very good <clears throat> and maybe somewhat inclined to go fish it out. I think we will go in with the Drizzile. We will evolve into Frostmoth. Evolve into Inteleon. And we're going to grab a Capacious Bucket. And, and Hex Maniac. We're just going to go for it. We will Capacious Bucket for two Water Energy. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to use Brooklet Hill or Quick Ball to thin the hand to be able to go get a water Pokemon. We will Deluge onto the Inteleon. We will attach... Hmm, I think I'll just Quick Ball away this Bridget to get that out of the deck. And... Thinking about either Lapras or Wishy Washy. I think we'll go with Wishy Washy, just a little bit thicker of a boy. And we're not going to set up to draw any more cards, so I will just Hex Maniac and Aqua Bullet. And let's see, we will put. Some onto the start you. So 
So that's one way to get rid of a that wishy-washy. We play the other wishy-washy um, that also has 180 hit points, but its ability uh, says that at the end of your, I think it's your opponent's turn. Yeah, you flip a coin, and if tails, you have to shuffle wishy-washy and all energy attached back into your deck. So they go right back and get that that wishy-washy. Let's see if they try to load it up again. Now, schooling shot can ramp up, but I think they would need quite a bit of energy to knock it out. Let's see if they try to go with Raihan here. No, they're building that wishy-washy back up. I really would like to not use Hex Maniac on this next turn. Because I really want to be able to find some water energy and get some water energy loaded up onto the field. Oh, they go with the, the double. And they're going to knock out our Frost Moth with the Lapras. That's a cool little deck they got here. I like it. So we can just go right into the Lapras and knock this thing out. But my, let's see, they can probably get a lot of damage on with that school shot. So we will deluge onto our Whale Lord. And I think we will go ahead and grab Staryu. I'd like to get the free retreat going. Put the float stone on the Blastoise. We will field blow the float stone in the Brooklyn Hill. And we will. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Do I want a Marnie? I think I do want a Marnie. Great amount of energy we got there. We will deluge some more energy onto the Whale Lord. And I will Abyssal Hand to draw two cards. I will. Hold the Evolution Incense, I think. Ah, I'll play the Evolution Incense to go grab our Starmie. Even though we can't evolve it, I just really want to shuffle the deck because I do want that VS Seeker back. That would be kind of nice to have. And we will Aqua Bullet. And I think put another 20 onto the Star. Star you. Take a prize. So I like that we were able to get that Rapid Strike energy to the bottom of the deck. That Rapid Strike energy would have really helped this wishy-washy not only get up to the 180 hit points, but also begin to ramp up some damage. With three energy attached, they do 90. So I have to imagine they're able to get a, a good amount of energy down. So they do have the Inteleon. Let's see what they decide to go with here off their own Shady Dealings. Go with the rough seas. Okay. So maybe their Starmie is prized. And that's why they have to opt to go with the rough seas to be able to heal their own uh, Staryu. What is this? Wow, they got a lot of stuff going. Jeez. That Marnie did not help us. Yeah, so this is maybe less of a sniping deck but more of a rapid strike water deck and i really dig it oh they find their star meat wow they just they're popping off popping off looks like they probably don't play the blastoise line lean really heavily into the frost moth now i'm not sure if they can get the knockout i don't think i don't think they can get the knockout with whale lord 
They do field blow probably the rough seas and our float stone, which is a problem. Do we still have our scoop up net in the deck? I think we should. Hard charm, hard charm onto the reduced by 20. So this thing has like 200 hit points effectively, which means we would need five energy on hydro pump which I'm certainly not opposed to doing, but it just is pretty incredible <laughs> the how quickly that this wishy-washy can really ramp up. And with four energy, it's doing 150 damage, just coming short of the knockout here. So let's see what we want to do. I really want to take this knockout, but I don't. I don't know if that is really the smartest thing to do. We do have our Starmie, which is very good for us to be able to go recover some energy. Let's see how much we have down here. Just one energy down there. Let's grab some out of the deck. I think I, think I do want to just go in with the Whale Lord, see what, what their response would be. They, are, they have set up aqua bullet play in case we do retreat so maybe maybe that's not the first thing we want to do i would love to find scoop up net i think that would be really strong so let's ultra ball away this nest ball and this lapras and grab nothing and we will Cynthia. So we have the knockout with Whale Lord doing 210 damage minus. Oh, do we actually? Yeah. They have 180, effectively 200. So we did not find our scoop of net, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We will deluge onto the wishy washy. Um, I don't really want to get rid of any of these cards. So I think I will star me away the Lost City to get two energy. Oh, definitely should have retreated first. <laughs> that was a misplay. I meant to retreat so I could get both energy back, but it is what it is. And we'll deluge onto this wishy-washy. And we will abyssal for one. See if we get our scoop up net, we do not, which is fine. We will hydro pump for the knockout. So a little bit of missequencing on my part there. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Now I don't know how much they lean into this wishy-washy play. Like maybe it was just better for me to actually play Lost City instead of uh, discard it with Space Beacon. But I imagine they're just going to come in with the Inteleon, swing in with 120 and knock out our own Inteleon, which is fine for us. They do take a prize, but then we will just return knockout with our Whale Lord. Looks like they're loading up this. Tabu Fini, which does 30 and 120. <clears throat> I think that Cloister is something that, that spreads. And we do know that they have their Rapid Strike energy somewhere in the deck because it was returned to their hand and then we martyred them. So it's somewhere. Aqua Bullet, I'm sure, taking out our Italian, which it does. So now we are even... Prize card to prize card. And we'll deluge onto our wishy washy. We'll space beacon for two energy. Now, this is where I would really like to have our Lapras back. Because Lapras could be an attacker that could certainly get us to where we need to be toward the end of the game. 
Now they have this loaded up to be able to take an attack. I'm just wondering what our best supporter would be here. And it could just simply be Nessa. So I think we'll, I think we will Nessa get some Pokemon back. Definitely want the Lapras back. And I think just the Inteleon line, really. Just get all these guys back. And we'll put the Sobble down first, because we can always bench the Lapras and attack on the same turn. And I think we will hold the hand in Hydro Pump for Knockout. The thing that is concerning to me is I have no idea what this guy evolves into, uh, what the cloister does. So that cloister could just ruin our day and sweep the field. You never know. It's just one of the beautiful things of Gym Leader Challenge is you can have some really good creativity. You may have a very streamlined kind of vanilla deck like I'm playing with Blastoise and, and uh, your rain dance abilities, but... Uh, Clearly, there are strong, strong decks all the way around. So Aqua split the 60 of the active and 30 to two benched for two energy, which is satisfied with the rapid strike. So we really need to be weary of our bench. And there is that N. And the ocean loop for knockout. Now, I think they can switch. No, no, no. They put an energy back into their hand. So we're just going to go in with wishy-washy. If they have, like, a way to increase damage on the bench, that would be, like, so sick. All right. We will deluge onto the Lapras. We're going to hold this scoop up net in case, in the case of needing to switch out our Blastoise or something like that. We do have Guzma, and I kind of like the idea of Guzma in here. We also have our Drizzile, so we can get kind of anything we want. Just don't know exactly what that would be, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, we will Drizzile. Yes, Seeker I like. Teammates I think I like better. But I do want to just knock that thing out. So we'll grab Boss. Grab Boss. We will Space Beacon. Away the Arizu. Grab two of our five water energy that are down from that whale lord. And we'll deluge onto our Lapras. And let's see. Oh, yeah, we have boss. So we will make sure that we're doing enough damage, which we're not. <laughs> uh, you like that? Um, let's. see here that was a definite misplay we'll boss up the frost moth and hydro splash for knockout definitely should read the cards but they don't know that we're sitting on guzma just kind of comes down to whether or not they can take two prizes here, which I think we're in an okay spot. Do you have Guzma? Right now we're doing uh, 100 damage with Hydro Pump. Here comes the Guzma play on the Blastoise. That's why we keep the scoop up net, baby. 
you love to see it. And we have Guzma, but, you know, thinking ahead. They're getting their energy back, but I'm just, I'm just licking my chops at this Starmie. Because we actually can't. This Cloister seems pretty cool. But this Rapid Strike energy to do 60 to the active, 30 to 2 benched. And they may be getting rid of the wishy-washy. They don't. And we just have Guzma for game with our wishy-washy. He had the scoop up net just in case. But that's going to be a good game to our opponent. Love Gym Leader Challenge. Hopefully going to be able to make more videos. Uh, love how you can have two of the same types going up against each other, but two completely different decks. So that's going to do it.